Alright, alright. Um, now I lost my tools. As usual. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at video things. Like, yeah. seriously. I should explain that in the video, too. You should just that be like, I'm I gonna suck. fuck up a lot. I know. I'm sorry. I grabbed the wrong tools. I'm slow at everything. That's how I do it. Yeah, got a bunch of baiters over here now. Got half the crew over here. A few of them. They're all being quiet. Their camera's shy too. <laughs> but anyway, quarter inch, 12 point for the ARP rod bolts. If you got a stock rod, it's just going to be a 10 mil, I believe. Same. Same shit though. Don't you <laughs> I know. It's gonna be a YouTube sensation. Yeah. <laughs> Bearing looks pretty decent actually. Surprising. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna spin the crank a little bit. Dude, don't you say the Toyota. And Just then, as you spin it around, your rod will drop the off, Dude, and then you can push it right out of the top. All that, but it looks ugly as fuck to me personally. And then you have your rod yeah. and your piston, and your rings. And you can, look you can always over. check your rings, make sure <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're like still in the same there. position or close to or wherever, you know. But everything looks really good on this, actually. I'm surprised on that. So... That's nice. Still usable. I don't know if I'll use it for this next build or not. I still might use a rod, but I'll put new bearings in it either way. Just to be safe. Um, flywheel. Should be kind of simple. It never really is, so. Um, seriously. It never really is. I know. I watch you beat on it every time. I don't know. I'm gonna... My rubber mallet is completely torn apart from doing this so many times, so I am going to do it the way that ARC recommends it and put a screwdriver back here behind the flywheel and then since I don't have a rubber mallet I'm going to put a little bit of this towel over that there and I should be able to tap the crank and it eventually will come out I don't know if it came out or not probably not yet usually it takes more than that looks like you need an assistant buddy yeah, I always do it on my own. I'll get her figured out. No, I wasn't volunteering. I was just saying. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, that didn't do much justice. Man, these things get stuck on there. It's on video, so he's not going to beat the shit out of it like you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Don't show code, Jeremy hit it. <laughs> Usually I'd waller the shit out of it, but I'm trying to show I guess that you can that you can do it without beating the piss out of your flywheel. Well, we're not making much progress here. There it goes. So there goes the flywheel. And then at this point, I like to take off my key way there so then you can perfectly slide your crank out. And then your crank's out and then you're down to your just bare block. And from there, probably going to check the bore make sure the bore is straight then I'll hone it out I don't know I might do videos all that good stuff too I guess we'll see where I go from there but I think 
think that's all it's gonna be for the day. What? Quit looking at us. Look at your video camera, buddy. It's the video camera you know. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I'll be it for the day. I don't know. We'll see. Go from there. Wait, have you been talking?